Good morning guys, it's 20 to 10 currently and um, on my way to Hereford, um, not my favourite place but hey, it's where family live so just heading down to the platform now so we'll see if it's class 172 or class 196 and um, I do love class 172 but kind of hoping it will be class 196 as I've said, still due to travel on that one. Oh, looks like it's class 172. Um, I do love class 172 though, no, not gonna lie, like I love the design of it. Um, it's got no luggage racks, but I think it gets away with it now, as it's got um, loads of legroom. It's a facing back seat this time. Um, it doesn't really bother me whether I'm facing forwards or back on the train. Do you have a preference? Let me know in the comments if you prefer to be facing the direction you're traveling or the, um, the direction or backwards in the direction you're traveling. Let me know, always curious. But yeah, so um, the seat I chose is right at the front end of the train, it's the driver's cabin. And, um, and yeah, loads of leg room here, as you can see. Whereas Class 170 didn't really have as much leg room, so I'm, I'm glad they took it off this route, partly for that reason, but also partly because Class 170 is so unreliable that this is a much more reliable train. Another thing it's got which Class 170 didn't have was, um, uh, okay, that screen's not working, but you can see one in the background there. Um, screen with the destination and it shows you the full journey. That's definitely helpful. Okay, maybe not. Um, so um, the train has just been cancelled as there's been an incident um, with the track. So we'll have to get there one in the next hour. Well, that'll be class 196, so I guess we'll see. So the following journey has been cancelled to Hereford as well as there's been an incident on the line. So just going to be killing some time until then. Going to grab something to eat, I think. Um, but, um, but yeah, again, when things like this happen, like when there's cancels or delays, like um, people in this country choose to make such a, a big deal about it. But I think when you think of the real problems happening in this world, but oh, another cancellation there, not my journey, but yeah. Um, but yeah, but as I was saying, when um, things like this happen, when there's cancels or delays, like people choose to make such a big deal about it. But well, when you think of them, the big problems happening in this world right now, like um, Syria is being invaded, um, um, <coughs> Ukraine is being invaded, children in Uganda are uh, <laughs> suffering with no food, etc. Um, I, 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 I couldn't let some, something as little as um, the cancel or a delay on the train bother me. So it is what it is. If, um, if it happens, it happens, and um, so I'm just got just got to deal with it. So the incident on the line is still being dealt with. So I think we're going to have to risk it and change at Shrewsbury. Hopefully the conductor on the, the second train will let me on. We'll see. So now waiting for the train to Shrewsbury. Um, I am, I, um, well, I guess, I, I guess we'll see um, which class it is, kind of hoping it will be class 196, as um, um, they put 196 onto this journey as well, and as I said earlier, still not travelled on it, so would like to experience it. Okay, so just been told last minute that Hereford train is running again, so just about to board it. So many people waiting for it now, no surprise, but good job it's running again. Um, will save me changing and yeah, back on the train, back on class 172. So after a couple of cancels we finally made it on class 172. Um, I do hope to travel on class 196 eventually though, no. maybe if I do a trip to Shrewsbury or something we'll see, because I think it's been used more on the journey to Shrewsbury at the minute. So now just been dropped um, back at Hereford. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. Um, so off to London now. Um, but uh, my journey <coughs> has been cancelled. Actually, it's Great Western uh, facing problems with staff shortage. That does happen around this time. And um, not just where with Great Western all the railways, but I mean generally people get ill around this time. <laughs> so uh, I've come here a bit earlier. So, um, and they're uh, going to be getting the 1238 connection to Newport and changing there. It's, um, yeah, it's a nice day, by the way. But yeah, going to be changing there. Um, 
instead, we'll get there eventually. Um, and as I said previously, I don't let things like this bother me, just one of those things. So now I'm just in the waiting room at Hereford Station. It's quite interesting actually, like, um, tells you about, well, some of the history of Hereford and got the history of, like, trains that have served Hereford over the years as well. It's got to be some better ones here eventually, because, um, yeah, I'm going to be picked up, well, taken to Newport on the unreliable class 175. Pray for me, it doesn't break down. Um, oh no, I will have um, a long wait at Newport, so even if there is a delay on it, I, I won't have to wait too long anyway. Um, well, I mean, if it is delayed, but nope, hopefully it won't be. So now we're being held at Red Signal. Um, connections, well, an earlier connections in a few minutes, but get whichever one I like. Hopefully the earlier one. Just made the earlier connection. Had to leg it over, literally got on at the, well, just as they were locking the door, so perfect timing, best late than ever. We'll be calling at Bristol Parkway, Swindon, Reading, and London Paddington. So we'll shortly be arriving at Paddington, just passing an Elizabeth Line train, which looks pretty busy. I think that's the last one of, um, Wait, no, the last one from Paddington is at four o'clock, but it won't be going to where I need to go. Um, not gonna say where I'm going, as um, the, the relatives I'm visiting don't like people know where they live, but but yeah, the last Elizabeth line that was going there was um, a 10 past three, so I'm um, taking an alternative route. I'm um, gonna be getting the Hammersmith and City line to park and um, I'm getting picked up from there. Paddington Station is definitely a lot quieter compared to the usual. And then oh, I guess it's Christmas Eve and also train strikes are on. It's funny seeing it like this now, every other time I've come here it's been, it's been very busy. Right, I'm off at Barking, so need to go find where my dad is parked now, he's not far. But yeah, I'll see you on the next journey, which will be London to Devon. Almost forgot to start vlogging, so yeah, got some at Barking, they changed at White Chapel for the Elizabeth Line to Paddington. And then, um, um, been on the Elizabeth Line quite a few times, class 3, 4, 5. Perfect for this type of journey. I'll see you in Paddington. So, now I've just arrived at Paddington and, yep, yeah, going up from underground as so the Elizabeth Line is, well, it is technically an underground train as it is underground for part of the journey, including the part I was travelling on. Well, no, it is treated different from the tubes. But yeah, um, as I was saying, I do like the Elizabeth Line. I think it's, um, it's definitely um, good, 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 good for London. Like, um, it's helping ease the congestion on the tubes and um, getting people to places faster, just like it got me here faster from Barking. Yeah, so it actually saved 10 minutes changing at Whitechapel then if I was to get the Hammersmith and City line um, all the way from Barking. Right, okay, so, so there we've arrived at Paddington and it's quite nice to see this station again actually, because I do like Paddington Station. And, I don't, I, I used to go there a lot when I lived in Northamptonshire and um, yeah, when, when I go from Birmingham of course I don't have the option to come here now as um, there's uh, two of the three trains from Birmingham and terminate at Euston. Euston's a pretty grotty station, not going to lie. And, um, and then the third one, the Chilton service terminates at Marlebone. Marlebone, it's, it's a bit boring but still fairly nice station. Yeah, so this is Paddington Station. It's um, <laughs> almost walked into someone there. Um, it's quite a nice station actually. So probably my second or third favourite station in London um, after Waterloo and I do like Kings Cross Station as well, that's a nice station. So um, well, we're, we're here like 50 minutes early but better early than late so I think we're gonna grab some something to take on the train. Um, Durban's yeah, definitely need a Red Bull. So yeah, we're gonna grab something to take on the train and sit down for a bit. I remember when I used to come here from Herefordshire, yeah, this used to be a McDonald's, turned into a Pret now. I do quite like Pret though, like um, I love their coffee and um, I support them on the fact they give any um, leftover food to the homeless. Well, I've been here for a fair few minutes now, just to grab something from um, Sainsbury's and 
I've still not seen any HST centre, but the platforms. Um, so uh, I think Great Western, uh, uh, like uh, I think they still got one on one service, but maybe not one that enters Paddington. Um, but, but yeah, it's, it's a shame really. Like um, all the HSTs are going to be pulled out of service by um, 2024 because of the Global Warming and Disability Act. I mean, um, I do support that. As I do um, that, um, that, um, support like um, the, the health of the disabled and also I'm a big um, believer in saving our planet. But I will miss the HSTs. I mean, they've been operating in Britain since the 70s. Very reliable and fast trains. Okay, so good news. I won the first class seat. I, uh, I'm i not sure if you watched my vlog where I was travelling from Glasgow, but I literally did the same thing again. I bid it on the last 10 seconds, so man, it was just unbeatable. And yep, ta da, it's mine. So yeah, gonna be travelling first class to Tiverton Parkway. So this train's a funny layer, like usually it would be. Um, the, well, the alphabet starting from A and then going all the way down, but as this is two five coach trains merged together, coach A is actually in the middle of the train. But so we're walking down to the front to coach D, as um, that's the first class one where we've won it. Oh, we're in C1, that's 37 to 69. Well, 69, 96. Um, well, C1 must be right at this end. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to have them all come this seat. So, I've just got off the train at Tiverton Parkway. It's um, about three o'clock. Um, so, heading over the bridge down there, there's my taxi. So, waiting me. Yep, it's raining. Typical Britain. Ironic, because Devon's usually one of the best places in Britain for weather. But, hey, off to the taxi I go. So just been dropped off back at Tiverton Parkway Station by the taxi on my way back to Birmingham New Street. And yep, Happy New Year as it's New Year's Day. And in fact, I'm the only person at the station at the moment. No surprise, there's not many people travel on New Year's Day. Shop is closed. Literally no one parked outside. Um, still got... Um, 45 minutes till my train, but I'll be okay. I can just chill here, got some snacks, got my Switch to play on. And yeah, it looks like um, Great Western are having problems with staff shortage today. Did get a notification about it, but I'm not sure if you viewers can see, but yeah, a lot of Great Western's trains are canceled because of staff shortage. Good job I'm not traveling with them going back to Birmingham. Um, it's ironic though, as Great Western have always been one of our best operators since they started running after British Rail ended in 97. So, ooh, it's a coffee machine there, could do with waking up a bit, so I think I'm going to go grab a coffee. Went for a black coffee, it's only a pound, so cheaper than, in fact, any vending machine I've used in Birmingham. But, um, and they say you pay for what you get. We'll see if this is true. We'll let... Wait outside, it's literally just a couple of minutes now, and yeah, it's, um, it's definitely got busier than I thought. There's a lot of people sat in there now. Didn't expect it would be that busy at um, such a quiet station for New Year's Day, but I guess it's been harder to get trains these last days because there's been strikes and also problems with staff shortage. So, looks like I'm just in a full coach train going back, but can't be that busy on the train as it's New Year's Day, we'll see. So now I've just arrived back in Birmingham New Street. I could go and walk to the bus or I could wait 15 minutes for the cross city line. Probably wait for the cross city line. Longer journey home as it means more walking as well, but might as well do it. So that journey was actually pretty quiet usually, but um, after Devon it gets busy at Bristol, but um, um, there, I, I saw so many empty seats on the train, so yeah, it, it was a um, nice convenient journey, and um, you think Birmingham New Street looks busy, believe me, it's usually more busy than this, so 
um, maybe I should travel on um, New Year's Day more often. Right, okay, too busy talking. Just realised we walked past the platform. Right, let's go back to it.